Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is a hashtag RSI divergence trading that uh, kicks ash. Now my apologies to traders for the word that I'm using today. I need to remind traders that uh, this is, has nothing to do about ash or anything uh, okay, negative. All right? So my apologies to traders for the word that I'm using in this uh, title, but the topic that we're going to discuss is all about RSI trading, all right? So, for us as uh, YouTube creators, we must uh, come up so from time to time with a title that will grab your attention that we are chasing all over the place, all right? So that's why I'm coming up with that title to get your attention so you may watch that video and make sure you watch the full length of it. All right, now this is to make you laugh a bit, all right? <laughs> so my apologies to trader who think that. Because uh, one time there was a trader that told me that he watched the video with his children that doesn't want me to use them. But, so the point is that you will only see the title and you will not hear that word in the video so you can watch it with your children if you want to all right so what am i talking about okay i say divergence trading that blah 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 okay so here it is i don't want to dwell on it too long is that divergence that is occurring so when we are talking about divergence so it's something like this so the general definition of divergence Two things are divergence if they are not parallel or if they are not going in the same direction. So therefore, one is doing something, another one is doing completely the other. That is completely different from the first one. So this that divergent arrows on my chart. All right. So, but when we are talking about technical indicator like RSI for new trainers, RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. So momentum oscillators, so powerful momentum oscillator, the ultimate role of the RSI indicator is to pinpoint bullish stock and bearish uh, stocks. And when it comes to trading divergence, the number one technical indicator for trading divergences is the stochastic indicators, the slow stochastic 833. However, we can also use CCI and RSI for divergence trading, but that's not their ultimate role, all right? So, for this tutorial, I want to highlight a specific RSI divergence that I say kick, blah, 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 okay? Here it comes. So, the price exhibits a higher low, but the RSI period 14 exhibits a lower low. So, there is a divergence. You see what I'm saying to you? The price form a higher low, but the RSI form a lower low. They are diverging. One is doing another thing, and they are, they, there is no confirmation. There is no agreement between the RSI technical indicator and the price action. It's a type of diversion. Now, hold it a second so you get a bit confused, yes or no. So you say, George, normally people told me, I'm a new trader, they told me that is when, okay, the price form, okay, all right, a higher high, but the other side form a lower high that we talk about bearish divergence. That is correct. That's one form of divergence. So, now you may say, oh, George, the bullish divergence is when, okay, the price form a new lower low and the other side form a higher low. Yes, that's the general teaching when we come to divergence. But what I want you to remember is that whenever we are talking about diversion, is when something, one thing is doing something else, and the other is not agreeing to it. So, either the prior form a lower low, and the other side disagree and form a higher low, or the other the prior form a higher low, and in this case, and the other side form a lower low. It's also a diversion. They are not agreeing. They are not confirming each other. So this is the RSI that I'm talking about, that kick, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Here it is. Whenever you see that, this is a powerful RSI divergence. The price, the number one indicator, indicate to us that there the bullish momentum is strengthening, while the RSI, okay, 
is resetting itself. This is why the RSI continue to go down more because you want to reach a certain level before changing direction. Or sometimes the reason why we have that type of divergence is just is due to the volatility. Have I said that? I shouldn't say in a public place, it should be secret, yes or no. Sometimes you may see the RSI like this forming a lower low, as the price forming higher low. The number one cause for that kind of diversion sometimes is due to the volatility. Look at the candlestick bar. Is they long enough for you? Is this candlestick bar volatile enough for you? Yes, yeah, volatile because it's long candlestick bar. There was a volatility here. Yeah? So sometimes they say it's not volatile because we don't have a long tail and a long shadow, but it's still volatile. It's a long candlestick bar. All right. So volatility, high volatility, can cause this sort of diversion sometimes. Because very often, the RSI will follow the price, will agree with the price very often. Except during the fifth wave, when we see sometimes a real divergence, all right? But here it is. Remember this divergence, all right? I want to dwell on it a bit. Remember this divergence. When the price form a higher low and the RSI form a lower low, it's a powerful divergence on any time frame, even on a 5-minute time frame, 15-minute time frame, hourly time frame, 30-minute time frame. So here we are, it's happening, okay, on the monthly chart. So as soon as we see that, so there is a mass turn around, don't see it going down, wait for it to form that cap, turn around. Come on, set trend lines now, is kaput. Or advanced trader will monitor the candlestick pattern to have early entry at the low risk entry point. Check the reaction of the prior at this point in time. And then use a multiple time frame trading method to control the risk. Right? It's not sufficient to identify this divergence. The next step is to use multiple time frame trading method to control the risk. I think traders are getting used to this now because they still, oh, George will talk about it. Yeah, multiple time frame trading method all the time. So now we get, we are, we, in, we are now in agreement. At the beginning, we were diverging. Traders say, you're talking about uh, the top down all the time, top down all the time. But now, as traders start understanding why I'm talking about it, we are now converging. We are understanding each other. We are confirming each other. Right? Isn't it beautiful? On a monthly chart. So as a position trader, as a swing trader, here it is. Use a top-down trade method and trade it. So all you are looking for is that type of divergence. Go around, look on the, for it on any time frame, and try to play with it. As always, if you are a new trader, you learn this for the first time. You say, Joe, really? Does it work like this most of the time? Yes, sometimes it will fail. That's why we want to use a top-down trading method to control it. If it fails, it means that the signal will fail. You will close the trail without even looking back or blink at all. <laughs> Can you do that? Let me know in the comment section. So you say, Joe, that's on the monthly chart. I'll get a message now. Let's go to the two-hour time frame. I want to show you one beautiful, gorgeous example here. When the areas are from a new lower low on the two-hour time frame. Can you see one? I'll leave it to you to look a bit. This is RSI period 14 on the two-hour time frame. And I was telling you on a monthly chart that you can use it on any time frame. Say, so Joe, show me one example on another time frame. Can you see one? There's one here. Did the RSI form a lower low? See, a low and a lower low, all right? What was the price doing? The price form a higher low. Uh-oh. So the RSI is disagreeing with the prime forming a new lower low at the time when the prime is forming a higher low. So why did I say to you on a monthly chart? Say on every time frame, come on set and use a top down trade method. Two hour time frame, 15 minute time frame for the signal, and three minute time frame for the entry. Boom. Did it go up? Yes, George. Beautiful. So this is okay. A some trader call this a hidden divergence. It's nothing hidden about it. It's a divergence because they are not agreeing. It's not hidden. It's there. Price is paying higher low. RSI form a lower low. It's a divergence. All right. Price form a lower low. RSI form a higher low. It's a divergence. All right.
So they are now in tune. See, divergence. Look for it and see whether you will notice that type of divergence where is the RSI instead that is forming the new lower low at the time when the price is forming a higher low. If you see one, well, remember me. <laughs> remember me. But trade it like a poor. Say George was talking about it. I always disagree with George, that stupid boy from London. Okay, so there is a form a lower low. Oh, this is not a good one. Okay, prior also from a lower low. Okay, I'm looking for another example. Okay. This is not good either. We wanted to form a lower, a new lower low at the point where the price is forming a higher low. Oh, we find one. There's another one again here. Can you, can you agree? So there was this low first. It is a new lower low. Where am I now? This one. So this low in comparison is a new lower low. What is the price doing? Is the price agreeing with the RSI or disagreeing? Look at that price form. A higher low. Wow. So this is it. It went vertical. <laughs> this is a vertical move. We talk about this vertical move. Remember the 50% level. So if you buy here, you see a vertical move. Remember the 50% Fibonacci retracement level or that vertical move. So it is when it did go up again. After that move. That's what we are talking about. You say, George, show me on a 50-minute time frame. I'm a scalper. Okay. But my, my recommendation to trader is to use a higher time frame. So you look for it. Maybe on a four-hour time frame, you see it. Then you use a top-down trading method to trade it. Okay? Or you look for it on a daily chart or weekly chart or monthly chart. And then you break it down using a top-down trading method to control the risk. But some traders that are doing all kind of things, if you have a total risk control, which is mean you know how you are, what we are doing, here it comes. Let's find out if there's one example here. Uh, it's a form a clear cut a new lower low. This is so, so here it is. Let, let's talk about it because sometimes this trader will come across this and they will think that this is it because they will be this is not a good one. Why? So some trader will say, okay, there was this low, I compare it to this one. It's wrong. This one is wrong. So they say, though, you can see, price went up a bit, uh, but it's wrong, okay? It's wrong to think that way. Why? You say, oh, it's a higher low, it's lower low. It's not. Here, why is wrong? It's wrong because the price is going down. So there was a low, followed by a lower low. It's not a low and a, a higher low here. There was a low here, price was going down from a low. Low, low. But what we are discussing here, and believe some traders sometimes we misuse this strategy, thinking that here this is another example here, but this is completely wrong example. Uh, is you see the price did not go up very much. All right, so this will conclude this discussion about hashtag RSI diversion trading that kick, blah blah blah. <laughs> All right. You have any question or suggestion? Okay, put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. If you like the video, give us a sign by giving us the thumbs up. I say, well, George, trader love this video. Well, I've done a good job, and I'm happy, okay, YouTube creator. However, if you think that, truly, truly, George, this is not a good video, mark it down. So that will put me under pressure. To go back to my blackboard to improve my next recording. Oh, but if you want me to talk about another topic, don't mark the video down. So I put it down and say, George, how, how, in the next recording, would you mind to start talking about that topic? So don't mark the video down because you don't like that topic. But mark it down if the video was not useful to you. Okay, this is what we are talking about. However, if you find it that this is an essential tutorial that I never heard about this. People, everybody should know about it, all right? 
Don't be selfish. Don't be. There's nothing confidential about this. Feel free to share with your friends on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about hashtag RSI diversion trading that kick blah blah blah. Happy trading to you all and speak to you as soon.